assume that we have all this help and we don't. <laughs> So we have some baby oatmeal with hemp hearts, a handheld style banana. This is just so they can hold it while eating it. And then I also just did a little peanut butter slurry. So you just water it down with some water just so it's not a choking hazard because globs of peanut butter are obviously hard to swallow. So we've been introducing peanut butter now for, I think this is the third week. So I just make sure to give it to her at least three times a week just to keep up with that and make sure that she doesn't build an intolerance later on. And then I have some water in her tiny cup, which is really important to help them learn how to drink out of a cup. You need to have a proper size for them. Otherwise, it's like the equivalent of them drinking out of a bucket because normal cups are just too big. All right, I'm chugging water. I have my herbal coffee and I'm gonna hop in the shower. I actually have like an oil treatment in my hair right now, so it looks kind of weird. Um, that is why, but Matt is gonna feed Sage. So today's vlog is gonna be kind of like a day in the life slash how I get done as um, a working mom because I get a lot of questions about it. And honestly, I don't feel like I have like the secret formula to doing it, but I'm gonna show you guys Things that I do, because maybe some things I do could be helpful for other people. Maybe it's common sense, maybe it's not. I don't know, because we're just kind of doing our own thing, and I don't really know what other parents do, because we're just, you know, hashtag housebound all the time. I have herbal coffee with collagen. It just helps put something in my stomach first thing in the morning, since I just don't have breakfast right away. I don't have time. Um, I might just, like, have the rest of her banana and the collagen just while I get ready. So I'm gonna hop in the shower. Matt is feeding Sage. He's usually on like the breakfast morning duty with the girls like Sage and Cashew, which allows me to either sleep in if I was up in the middle of the night with her or just start to get ready for the day. And it just, that's how we just like take team a lot. And that is a huge tip for me. If you have the ability to share responsibilities with a partner, um, even if they go to work, wake up earlier and like have your partner do a couple of things just to help set your day up for success, I think is really key. And yeah, just mat feeding Sage is just huge because I can get some stuff done. So I'm going to hop in the shower and then I think we're going to go for a little family morning walk before I get work done today. And then we'll get into the other stuff I do. Okay. She loves the handheld foods. Mmm, it's a banana. Give me my banana. Should have waited to give it to her. Now she won't eat anything else. Oh, banana. Banana. All right, out of the shower. I'm just gonna give my hair a quick brush. I only wash my hair about two times a week. I just give it a really good wash because it takes a lot of time to do your hair every day. So I just usually will style it like 
twice a week and then it's good for the other days. So I'll just touch it up or throw it up in a ponytail. And my hair is still falling out, but a lot less <laughs> than before. All right, let's make this bed quickly and then we can head out for a walk. I think I might just let my hair air dry while we walk in to save time from blow drying. <laughs> Dishwasher is on, robots are going. These are our cleaning ladies or guys. And they're gonna clean the floor as well. We are on a walk. When you have a dog, there is hair every, well, a shedding dog. There's hair everywhere, so we basically have to vacuum every single day, like the couch, the floors, and now that Sage is crawling, it's even more important that we are on top of it. So we always, like I already did, I didn't show, but I did a quick vacuum before I put down the play mat. And then the robots will do like a nice like little vacuum and mop for when we get back and it just helps fr freshen up the area and it just helps us get more done without us physically having to do the floors. You know, it's like the little things that make a big difference. So we're just out for a walk. This is one of my new favorite habits. We like to do it before we start our work day and before Sage goes down for her first nap. And it's stuff like this that may seem like unproductive because you're like not actually physically doing any work. But for me, if I feel good, I get more work done. I'm a better mom. I'm a better person to be around. And this is really important. This is like the priority item of the day self-care some fresh air in nature and just taking care of yourself first the joys of having a dog all right i just finished getting ready i did my five minute mommy makeup look it's I have a full like video and blog post on it and all the products I use. And I just gave my hair like a quick blow dry just to finish it off and give it like a little bit of a nicer blowout. I don't know. I find doing the 80% air dry and then like 20% blow dry just speeds things up. And if you want to still like style your hair with a curler, you can. Okay, I gotta put my eggs in. I'm boiling some eggs. So I'm gonna do a couple of extra ones uh, just so I can have throughout the week. I might even do six. So I am in my office, I got the baby monitor. I'm just gonna turn that down. She's right in the next room so I can hear her. So I wanted to let you know how our like work week slash parent life works these days. So I get asked a lot, do we have help? Do we have a nanny? Um, we do not. So we had a nanny for like, I think it was like six weeks in total and she was actually pregnant and we just wanted to see, uh, we found her online through like a nanny agency and we just want to see, you know, how that would work in our lifestyle and in our routine and if it's something that we needed. And it was amazing when we had it. Like our nanny helped with Sage, but also just helped with things around the house, like her laundry, vacuuming, wiping things down. It was just like an extra set of hands and it was really needed when both parents are working. You know, it's just like you wouldn't expect someone that's like going to an office to bring their kid with them every day, you know? So it was nice because we had childcare at home so I could still see Sage all day. And I've been breastfeeding this whole time. So like even when we had a nanny before, I was still breastfeeding her throughout the day and it was just really easy. So I could still do our normal routine just with some extra help. Yes, she was pregnant. So she is, I think probably having her baby any day now. But yeah, it's really just been Matt and I, and I'm so grateful that we really do work as a team. We always say that's like one of our best like attributes is just how well we work as a team, whether in 
business, real estate, uh, we've done renos together, we've traveled, backpacked together, um, we've done a lot of things together that I feel like would test your relationship and now have had a kid together. So what we do now is we basically take turns. So like one day, one of us will be on sage duty as we like to call it and then we'll swap. Um, so yesterday actually Matt was on sage duty and then today he is also on sage duty because I'm filming today, not even just this vlog, but I'm filming some other videos. Chloe's coming over in a little bit, so I'm just getting some computer work done. And then I have a meeting at 2.30. So I'm hoping I can get two videos filmed, including, and then this would be the third, this vlog. Uh, so basically when I have a work day and you know Matt is on Sage duty, I feel like I just try to cram as much as I can. And I just feel really productive because I know, you know, I'm not going to be scrolling on Instagram all day or just like watching TV. It's like go time. And that is really, I like, I work in chunks now instead of just kind of like spreading it out throughout the day. Um, I usually, you know, will do family time in the morning, get myself ready, have breakfast, go for a walk, all that stuff. And then it's like go time. So especially while Sage is sleeping, this is the time to get stuff done. I know they say like sleep when baby sleeps. I think that applies more in like the beginning, like that fourth trimester, the three month mark after they're born. Um, but like, I don't got, <laughs> if I'm just being realistic, I just don't have the time to sleep when she's sleeping. That being said, she does sleep through the night now. So I try not to go to bed too late. And I just try to, um, just relax if I'm, if I'm really tired, like I'll have a nap. But for the most part, I feel pretty good. But yeah, I mean, I think I do have more energy than the average person. I'm just like a very go, go, go person. It's just like in me to, to want to do a lot of things. I don't like sitting down for a long time. Even when I was pregnant, I didn't nap a lot. If I was tired, I napped. Like I listened to my body, but I also am just not the person that wants to like sit on the couch or lay on the couch all day. Um, it makes me feel good to do things. That's all. It's not like I'm not forcing myself to do things. I like enjoy it. I love what I do for work. It supports our family. It supports my mental health. It makes me feel like I have a purpose. And now being a mom, it's just like balancing the two and both give me a sense of purpose. And I feel like I wouldn't be whole if I didn't if, if I couldn't do both, you know what I mean? Anyways, I feel like that was really blabbery. Um, basically, I'm gonna do a little bit of work right now. I'm actually working on a, a little downloadable guide for, it would have already gone up, but my baby meal prep uh, video, I wanted to do a little like downloadable checklist for you guys. So I am just writing out like the rough, not the rough, like the, the copy for it, like the written part, and then I'm gonna send it over to um, Kaylee on our team and she basically is gonna just like turn it into a PDF add some graphics do the design and then we'll add it to the blog so you can easily download it and have it as a little cheat sheet checklist um, just to help you with like meal prepping at home so I'm working on that usually recipes and stuff are things that I'm obviously working on so like these are my rough notes when I was filming the video and then now I'm doing like I don't know if you guys can see Anyways, I am writing the full doc. So I worked on it mostly yesterday. I'm just going to finish it up and send it to her before Chloe comes and films. And then I also just want to write out a little to-do list. So usually I'll try to do like, you know, maybe just like three or four main things that I want to accomplish in that day because it's just set realistic expectations. If you think you're going to do like a million things in one day, and take care of a human like you're wrong <laughs> even with help or if your partner's home too like it's you're just gonna set yourself up for failure you're gonna stress yourself out and it's just not a good time for anyone so I really just try to do like a few main things that I really want to get done and then anything else is just gravy or the cherry on top so today I want to film this vlog send baby meal prep guide to Kaylee um, I have a call with a brand at 2.30. Actually, Matt has to be on that one too. Usually like the other person will watch um, Sage while the other one's on a call, but but in this case, like we're both gonna be on that. And then I wanna film, oh, my eggs are beeping. I'm gonna film some other videos. Okay, I'm gonna go get my eggs and then I'll probably just eat breakfast while I'm working on this so I can uh, get it done to review Friday's vlog. 
thumbnail. Look how cute that is. It's our Wonderland vlog, which will also be up by the time this is up. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna go get my breakfast. I'll show you guys what I'm making and then I'll bust out some work before Chloe gets here and films. And yeah, I'm probably not getting a workout in today. My, my walk was my workout, was my activity level today. what I'm having. So I have two hard boiled eggs with salt and pep, kiwi, and then some sprouted toast with PB and some chia jam. I am starving. <laughs> My document is completely done. Also, my desk is very messy right now. But yeah, this is done, so I'm gonna send this over to Kelly and that way she can design it. Hey, you did not wake up in a good mood, huh? So she woke up early. Uh, yeah. And this is a perfect example of how you can never really fully plan your day with a baby because they're unpredictable. So we're gonna let daddy know you're awake. Send him a photo. And also, it's called Tia Chloe. So we can figure out when she's coming over to film. Good morning. Say hi. Did she wake up from a nap? Yeah. Going? Woke up. All right. I'm with Sagey. I just fed her. And <laughs> while we wait for Chloe to come to film, I want to answer some questions you guys asked me on Instagram about balancing work life, mom life, all the lives, all the lives. So there's a lot of questions around meal prepping and planning for sage and stuff like that in grocery hauls. So usually what I try to do is just either grocery shop in person or order online all my groceries for pickup or delivery. And then I could just plan out my meals. By the way, I don't know where this bruise came from. It's like in the most annoying spot. Anyways, um, I like to plan out my meals for the week. I actually have a full video on how I do this. So I'll link that below and in the uh, corner here. And that basically goes over the process of how I do that. Planning and meal prepping are two key things that I do. Like even this morning while making those hard boiled eggs, I made some extra to have throughout the week. So if I'm gonna make something, I always make extra. I just posted a video on this as well, but I actually like to prep um, Sage's food in bulk. I will usually spend about two hours prepping at least a month worth of food for her. And then I just, freeze it into little like pucks, put it in the freezer, and then I just we just take it out the day before, thaw it, and she's ready to go. So that is how we do the food thing. We do order some order in sometimes, it's normal, you know, it's it's just easy sometimes, but you know, definitely costs more and it's not as healthy. So I try to eat homemade food as much as I can. How how do you manage to clean the house? Um, so kind of like I showed this morning doing a couple things in the morning. Um, and throughout the day, there's things we do every single day and then we'll do like a deep clean every couple of weeks or so whenever we have time. Um, I mean, are our shelves always dusted? No. Are the floors clean from hair and stuff? Yes. Are the dishes done? Yes. There's like things that I think we have to do like bathrooms clean, laundry, and then there's other things that like get put to the side when we have time, you know? How do you have time to get ready for the day? Oh, there's time. There's a lot of times where I don't get ready for the day. I feel like it'll be 12 o'clock and I'm still like, did I brush my teeth today? Did I take a shower? No, and that's just reality. But I really try to make a point of taking a quick shower, getting myself ready for the day, getting out of my pajamas so I can feel like refreshed and ready for the day. And I, I usually find on days that I do that, I feel more productive. I wanna be on Instagram stories more. I wanna be doing things and I don't know, I just feel like 
if you were to go into the office in your sweats, you're not gonna feel like ready to, to conquer your, your work, you know? And then like, how do you balance between your work and baby, asking for help, having good teamwork with your partner and your family, whoever is your support system, and just try not to do it all. Just taking care of a human is a full-time job. So if you're trying to still do your other full-time job, then you're just, they're just gonna collide. So I just have come to terms that I am doing less work some days, some days I do more, just depending on Sage's schedule and my energy levels, but I just don't wanna push myself and then like, you know, just burn myself out. We also have, I should mention too, like we also have a team. So I'm really grateful that I've built Health Nut to a point where we're able to have a team and just not, it just not be just me. You know, at first it was just me and then it was like Matt and I, and he had his work and job. And then now we actually have a team for Health Nut, which is really awesome. And that is how Health Nut runs because like I don't have time to edit videos and edit photos and do all my thumbnails and stuff. So I'm more of like a director, like a creative director. And I have my hands in everything, even though I'm trying to have my hands in less things. Um, but it's just not all me behind the scenes. I definitely have learned to ask for help and I am grateful that I'm at a point that we're able to pay for that help because I know that's not always an option. Um, so if you're, if you're like running your own business and trying to take care of your baby, I feel you. Cause mom guilt, definitely mom guilt when it comes to finding a nanny or a sitter. Um, so we are actually looking for a new nanny right now. It's, we've just kind of taken a break from it because I find where we live, there's just not like a lot of people. Um, you know, also just through COVID, like just a lot of people I'm sure don't want a nanny or they're just getting like government assistance or whatever. So it's been really hard to find someone. And like, I just didn't want to have anyone come watch Sage. I really, like I've been picky as I should. And so we've just, I'd rather have no nanny than like someone that I just didn't jive with. So it's just been Matt and I, and oh, my sister's calling me. One second. Hello, my older sister's actually coming over for movie night tonight with the kiddos. She also helps us with the fulfillment for the shop. So she's gonna come over right after work, help with some shop orders. And then later they're gonna come over for, uh, pizza and movie night. So I'm excited to see the kids and Sage loves hanging out with her cousins. It's so cute. Oh, mom guilt. So basically we are in the process. We think we found a nanny and there it's funny because like we've been wanting to find someone. It's been hard to find someone. We found someone and then I've been having like cold feet about it because I've been sad thinking that this person's going to take time away from me and Sage. And it's just been a hard thing to just come to terms with and like I have to remind myself, I get to see her in the morning for our cuddles. I get to see her throughout the day. She's home with us. I can still play with her. I breastfeed her all day. I see her after the nanny leaves, before she goes to bed. It's not like I'm, you know, some parents have to are out all day for work and don't even get to see their kid because they're asleep when they get home. So I'm grateful and I have to remind myself that the reason why we're able to be home with her and stuff is because of the job that I do. And in order to still do that job that I love, I need help. And it's just, it's this weird like mom guilt, but also I know that it's the best thing for our family. And like, and that way when I am with Sage, it's not like I'm trying to get emails done on the side. I'm just like focused on her. A couple questions about Sage and bottles. She does not take a bottle well. So I, we haven't been able to just like have me leave the house for hours on end, but she does eat food really, really good. So, you know, I'm just grateful that I've had a good breastfeeding experience. So if she, like, if for, emerg if for emergencies, I'm sure she would take a bottle if we really needed her to. See, Matt's getting work done too. This is this is our life. I'm filming. Matt's on his laptop. We're trying to entertain her. So yeah. it's. <laughs> Do you have help with cleaning and laundry? Nope. It's just Matt and I. But um. Would you like to come help? <laughs> I know. I actually hate laundry. I think people assume that we have all this help and we don't. It's just Matt and I and Cashew and Sage. Like, you know, we have help with the business in terms of like editing and all that stuff. But like in terms of taking care of Sage, cleaning the house, that is us. And like, sometimes I'll ask my mom if she can come over and help out and stuff. So like, 
That happens on the rare occasion, but usually it's just Matt and I. Uh, do you use your time wisely when Sage is asleep? Yes, I find it so easy to just start scrolling through your phone. Once she's in bed, I'm like, okay, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna meditate? Do I wanna work out? Do I wanna shower? Do I wanna get some like, app, like work work done? Do I need to film something? It's like go time and it's so easy to like, and I don't want to say waste the time because like if you need to relax and rest you do that and don't feel bad about it but if you have things you want to get done don't just like get distracted by you know putting on Netflix scrolling through your phone because it just goes by so fast and then you just didn't get anything done for you or your business or you know whatever you want to get done that day a lot of people are asking how I get a workout in during the day so I find it so much easier if you're gonna work out, just work out from home because you don't have to waste time going to the gym and back. Although I miss the gym and I will be going back soon. I think that home workouts are easy. Um, you know, you can just roll out a mat. I usually just do like a 30 minute workout. I don't do like a full hour and a half. Um, and it's just like you get in, you get out. So a lot of times I'll work out with my friend Laura who's a personal trainer and focuses in like prenatal and postnatal care. Um, I also have a, like a few different online programs that I do, or I just go on YouTube and I just follow exercises on there. Like I'll just Google like 15 minute morning yoga stretch and find exactly what I need for the time that I can do it in. Okay, so I have a list of some other ways that I get things done. So I'll either pick A or B. And what I mean by that is I will pick one option or the other. So if Sage is sleeping and I really want to um, do something for myself. I'll sometimes have to choose like do I want to meditate or do I want to do yoga? It's hard sometimes to do everything. So I find just like Picking at least one thing is better than nothing. I do multitask when I can I prioritize what needs to get done So like I said, I write my list top three things. That is what I'm gonna try to achieve anything else is just gravy uh, Matt and I tag team. I also, the biggest thing when Sage was really little is I would think about what things I can do when she's awake versus when she's asleep. So there are things like meditating I cannot do when she is awake, obviously for safety reasons. So I would do that when she was sleeping. Now things like working out I could do when she was awake because I could put her in her bouncer, in her little lounger. She could watch me. I could pick her up and do some squats with her. And that is something I can do when she's awake meal prepping i can put her in her little like uh perch high chair thing here she can watch me and play and i can make breakfast or just like meal prep some food so you just have to think of like what can you do with the baby on you and like sometimes in the carrier i would just be rocking her and do some emails on the countertop on my laptop so you just yeah i find that's really helpful like what can you do with baby and what are like you can't do it I've even done work calls before while breastfeeding Sage because if you want to work with a mom that has a three month old, you're going to expect baby, like baby in the meeting or breastfeeding or some kind of thing like that because that is just the reality of a working mom with a newborn. I already talked about like not wasting time scrolling through your phone, watching Netflix. We really save TV for the evenings and now I've actually been reading a lot too, which has been nice just to switch it up. Um, and then learning to log off. So I used to just like try to get a bunch of work done late at night when Sage was sleeping. But then I realized I was having trouble sleeping at night and I was just so tired the next day. So really I have like a cutoff point where unless it, like it's an emergency, I have to get something done. I don't do work at night, late at night anyways. I'll do it like around dinner time, but then I, at a certain point, I'm like, okay, no more work. It's done. I'll do it tomorrow morning. And even with my phone, I put it on airplane mode or I take it out of the room. So I'm not just like staring at it the whole night. And I just find like all that blue light is very jarring and stimulating. And it just doesn't help you get a good night's rest at the end of the night. And then um, back to like healthy eating and stuff. I get a lot of questions on that. Have some go-to healthy meals that don't take a lot of time. So for us, it's like obviously green smoothies. We drink them all the time. It's my hard boiled eggs. It's our, like for dinners, it's like easy one pot meals, our shrimp fajitas that are in the oven in 20 minutes are done. Last night we just had um, turkey tacos. Those are really easy. Throw a can of beans in there, seasoning on the tacos, super easy. Yeah, like we just have like a few meals that are our go-to and I've been planning on doing like a new dinner recipe video sharing just like 
three of our favorite go-to super easy dinners that we have like on rotation. But I will say for the most part, Sage is on a sort of routine now. We kind of know when she's gonna have her morning nap and her afternoon nap, when she's gonna go down for like official bedtime. So that makes things so much easier. Before six months, she was still going through her sleep regression and I was sleeping like two hour stretches at night. It was so hard. And I definitely had my moments where I was just emotional, crying, I'm not feeling good mentally. And since she's been sleeping throughout the night, it helps out so much. And it just makes us feel more like we're, we're getting into a routine that works for everyone. But you know what, when it comes, I was gonna say I love being a mom. <laughs> but when all is said and done, I truly, I love, love being a mom so much. It's just that I don't wanna give up my, my job and what I built. I love that too. And connecting with all of you guys, like I don't even know what I would have done if I haven't had, had you guys to connect with throughout the last year and a half. I would have felt so lonely and depressed and even though I still did feel like that, it, it was like less because I could share Sage, connect with you guys, support each other. And it's just been an amazing experience, like just meeting other moms virtually and seeing how my videos have helped you guys and just like your advice and feedback and words of like words of support have helped me in my own mom life, just navigating it because like, I don't know everything. I'm learning as I go. My battery's gonna die, but hopefully this isn't just like a long rambly vlog and it's helpful. I don't know. I'm just waiting for Chloe to come. So we're gonna play for a bit. I'm gonna get a new battery and then we're gonna get some other videos filmed because I am filming this. And also our meeting at 2.30 just got moved to tomorrow. Yes, um, because I thought that was gonna be hard to squeeze in today. Get your sister to help out with diaper changes. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna finish getting ready uh, to set up for the video we're gonna film. I'm doing my like tips and tricks for traveling with the baby. I know I shared like a little bit here and there when we, went, when we went to Florida, but this is like my consolidated list of things I know now from that trip. And I'm just putting it all into one video. So I think it'll be helpful just to kind of share uh, since I know a lot of people are like starting to think about traveling again and planning things for the near future. So I just want to help and give you guys some guidance when you're doing that, especially if you're doing it for the first time with a baby like we are, like we were. We got Chloe on camera and our son. We're about to film baby travel hacks. Let's do this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, and if you guys are new Are you giving daddy a hard time? No. You being good? Boss baby? This is a real boss baby here. <laughs> Muscle woman. What's up? Second video is gonna be a grocery haul. We actually did a big grocery shop last night and I wasn't planning on filming this video, but I got some requests after I showed our cart to do a grocery haul. You guys always really love these. So, and they're like easy for me to film, but also enjoyable because I just love grocery shopping and food and planning meals for the week. So, and I think we got some fun new things that we don't always get. Um, so yeah, we are going to set up. I'm going to take out all the groceries from last night and take them all back out so I can share them with you guys. The things I do for the YouTubes. I'm taking in, I'm gonna breastfeed her. So usually how I find time to like breastfeed her is just like in between shots and stuff. Like there's lots of times that we just have to stop, pause filming so I can feed her cause she's priority. Mwah. You're priority. Mwah. So I'm gonna give her some milky and then daddy's gonna put her down for her second nap. And that is go time. That's when you get the stuff done. So I find like my days are, my work days, like we start later but I'm still productive because I just get more stuff done in a shorter period of time. 
because you're just not wasting time on the Instagram and the TikTok. I can't even go on TikTok. That an hour passes. Let's I can't. Like you can't be on TikTok as a mom. You can make mom TikToks. You can't watch them. Just finished another grocery haul and I'm making a quick lunch. So I have these Amy's burritos. These are just like a good quick go-to. I just threw them in the oven. They exploded a little bit and then I just added on some avocado and it just gives some healthy fats and then I put a little hot sauce. So usually I'd have like a side salad but I've just been snacking and then this is like our main meal and then we'll probably have an earlier dinner tonight you guys have seen me show it all the time i'm just gonna use my little avocado hugger for the other half your lunch is ready sir do you want to grab the sriracha mat okay i'm also eating it's like peach season right now i'm eating peaches mm. oh. do you want some too no not too bad. <laughs> I'm also just gonna check in with the team quickly. So we actually use an online team communication platform called Slack. A lot of businesses use it. It's just really easy to just communicate with your team. Everyone can talk to each other. You can create threads and groups, send messages, links, files, images, all of that. It's really helpful. So it just makes it easier for me to be connected with my team. So I'm just checking. Chloe is just taking the final shots for the thumbnail. And that's a wrap on this. Oh, no, wait, it's not. We have to do B-roll. <laughs> I spoke too soon. And Trouble is awake. Do you have a good nap? Do you have a good nap? And this is what it's like working with a baby. You're just like kind of back and forth. I find you have to get used to not just like solid breaks of work. You have to, they're always broken up, but that's okay. Oh, she up. She up. The other thing too is some videos that I film, I can film with Sage, like when it makes sense. Like if I'm doing a, are you touching your toes? When I'm doing like a baby must have video or like a vlog like this, you know, it's easy to do with her. But if I'm talking about like groceries, I mean, I could strap her to me like in a carrier. And I have done that before, like in my five minute mommy makeup look, she was sleeping right on me. So that is like a way to get creative. But... You do it. Okay, back to work. All right. Mm, that video is done. I'm feeling a little tired. I'm not gonna lie um, Yeah, three videos. It's a lot usually I used to be able to film three four videos. No problem But now with like I don't want to say being interrupted by sage, but just like being a mom It's hard. It's harder and you just get tired faster Hang on. I'm just getting tired speaking of tired you just get tired faster. So I feel like even when I was eating lunch, I feel like as soon as I stop, like, go, go, going, I definitely get hit with a wall, and I'm just tired and sometimes unmotivated to finish the project that we're working on. Um, so I sometimes need a little pep talk, like, we got this, we're almost done, just two more shots and we're done. So it's nice to have just, like, supportive people around you just to get the job done and yeah it's good like i know you know filming three videos in a day is gonna get me ahead it's gonna be good but it's just like tiring when it's when you're in the middle of it but yeah if you think i don't get tired i definitely do and it like some days i do feel quite defeated i try to balance out like long working days with rest days so like tomorrow and Friday is actually going to be both mat days like for working. So I'm going to be with Sage and it's actually really nice because then I can just focus more with, like hanging out with Sage. Like I'll still have to get some work done when she's napping and stuff, but I can just be more present with her and just like slow down a bit. I'm going to feed Sage, maybe get Matt to help put away these groceries. I usually am like so tired. I'm like, I don't want to do dishes. 
Huh? That's all you. What? Putting away the groceries? Oh, yeah. What if I feed Sage? Um, anyways, I'm gonna clean up and then go feed Sage. So let's do a time lapse. Place is semi cleaned up. I have to finish doing some laundry. Um, kids are coming. By kids, I mean my sister, my older sister's kids. Um, they are coming over for an outdoor movie night. <laughs> Guys, she's crazy. So I think Matt is gonna go to the grocery store just to pick up a couple of snacks for movie night. Yes, you'll be in bed, so you can't participate, but. That means mommy and daddy can enjoy the movie. Oh, don't scratch mommy. The other question that I got asked a lot <laughs> is how is mine and Matt's relationship? How do we stay connected? It's hard. Like, it's not that, I don't feel like less connected to him like as, as a friend and a companion but I guess like romantically, you know, you definitely have to make time. We actually, <laughs> what was that? What was that? You're crazy. I'm so glad I got that on camera. We started to do, well, we did our first one last week, Thursday night, date night. And I already, actually it was today. Today's Wednesday. So we have another one tomorrow night. I basically have just started asking people, can you come over and watch the monitor? Cause she's like asleep by the time we go. I find that I'm one of those people that just like doesn't know how to ask for help. And even if that means like a favor, like babysitting or something, I'm just like not good at that. And I've been telling myself, you know, you're not like, you need to ask for the things that you need help with or that you want help with um, and like babysitting or watching the monitor and stuff, you know, you just gotta ask someone. I mean, if they say no, they say no, but you know, you're not gonna be able to do those things unless you ask people for support and help. And you know, it may not always work out, but Chloe was really awesome. She helped out last week and I think she's gonna help out tomorrow as well. And she lives like really close to us. So it's like not that big of a deal just to like hang out here. She's got cashews. She's got a whole house by herself to chill, watch a movie, whatever. Yeah. So anyways, date night is nice because it's just Matt and I. But also since she goes to bed early, we always have that night, that time together at night. And then like other things is just like remembering little things. So like give each other a kiss every day ask each other how you're feeling. Those things, sometimes you're just like going through each day like a robot just to get through another day. And sometimes you just need to stop and pause, take a breather and like check in with each other, you know? Cause I think it's easy to just be on like go, go, go mode. And is that mommy's necklace? And then just forget that, you know, you got that your people with needs and feelings and just check in to see how each other, how each other is doing. Um, so I think that's important. Um, but I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any other questions that I maybe I didn't cover in this video, leave them down below. I always check the comment section. I try to get back to you guys. And if I don't just still know I read them, I pretty much read like every comment. And um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you guys want to see more vlogs and stuff, I have a full playlist. I do these every single Friday. And I share a lot of like mom tips and stuff in them too. But I am gonna head, hang out with this girl, feed her dinner soon, and enjoy a little outdoor movie night with the fam. Cause I miss, I miss nights like that, you know? Oh, thank you for the French. Thank you. Can mommy have a kiss? Can mommy have a kiss? Mm.
Bye, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.